What's going on guys? It's Kurt from Kurt's Cottage. All right, so I have a free find here and it's an e-scooter. It was beside a dumpster on its side. There's some parts missing, the chain's missing, and the pedals are missing, the plastic's all broken. So the big question here, will it work? All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna try to see if I can get this thing going. But when I looked inside, down in here, I found these batteries. Now the batteries were all wrapped in duct tape and there was these wires on here, like around. It looks like someone tried to solder it, but just didn't really know how to solder. And there was these ones here, a six volt battery. They put two of them in series, so they're 12 volts here, and then these two are 12 volts, so you've got 24 volts. And then this one looks like an original. Now you can see what they did, how they soldered it really bad. Well, this battery's completely finished. I started charging it. Let's see. So it's 13.2, so that battery's pretty well fully charged, but I don't know how much current it's gonna have. Now that one only has a volt, six volts. So this battery actually has got 13 volts. So these two batteries are, are good, or some, they could be good. This one, and but this one here is, de is dead. This one here is all swelled. I'm not sure what this is for. There was two wires shoved in to the connector. So that was, you see that's broken off there. This connector here was sitting in the bottom. What I need to do is take this off. But there's all this tape, duct tape someone's put underneath. Any diagram, there's a bunch of Chinese writing on there. I pretty much determined that this here must be the main power. Now we don't really know what's negative and positive. Okay, so pulled this apart here and it looks like someone, What what is this? It looks like it's just a tie of some sort. The ignition switch, the ignition switch is broken. It's here with a push button. So if you can't, how are you going to hold, you're going to hold that while you're riding along? Is that the idea here? I don't know, but this here was the, was the override for the switch and that was just pushed in there. So Look at this. There we go, so there's your, now it's on. Like The connections are no good in there, so I might as well just cut this off. I have a battery here from Booster. This is a big one. I don't know if it's gonna fit in the e-bike though. And I've got another boost pack. I think it has a battery exactly the same size. Jeez, look at this. All right, so the controller here is 48 volts. We're good to go there. We have 52 volts. Hoping no smoke comes out. Yes, turn on. All right, so I have the plug plugged in here. And, oh, look at this. There's some indicator lights coming on. We've got, I'm not sure what that is, key. It looks like some key, this here. And the battery looks like it's fully charged. Oh, so it's cooked. Something is wrong with it. Now there is a wire disconnected here and there's some plugs. So let's take a look at that. Hooked it back. I've connected this wire here. Let's see what happens. Oh. No way. <laughs> no way. That's crazy. Yep, it's got power. It's wrecking my boot. Yep, it's got power. All right, so I'm stoked about this. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is disconnect this, take the batteries over, get them soldered up, and then get these batteries into this e-bike, and we're gonna take this thing for a run. Get that off there, all right. Now we gotta clean things up really good. That's maybe what they didn't do when they, they went to solder it. Put it through the hole, wrap it around. Now, I don't have any um, proper electrical solder. I'm just using uh, plumbing 
So we're going to have to put a little flux on there. I know people are going to be like, oh, don't do that. You'll see. 150 watts. So whoever had this before and tried to solder that, their, their iron probably wasn't hot enough. They didn't clean it. I don't want to heat it up too much. So basically, I'm going to heat it up. But we only want to get it hot enough until the solder starts to melt. You can see it's already starting to... We'll get a nice little solder on there. Safely. This really shorting. Need a saw to a jumper. Okay. So you can see that's a much better solder than than what what it was before. Wipe off the flux made with a damp damp cloth, and that'll keep it from corroding. So the trick is to not twi don't twist it. Leave it like that, and then push it through and then do your, your twist over. That's what I do. You can do whatever you want. Professionals can, they can leave comments how to do it properly if they want. So we've got our positive here, and we're gonna go to the negative. Shorter the better on these wires. Good enough. Let's pull this apart. This one here is a 12 volt, 18 amp hour. The other ones are only about seven or eight. But this one here, this one's a 21 amp hour. And these, these two batteries here are way more than what the e-scooter had originally. Okay, so I've got the two smaller batteries. Try to drop those down in there. Okay, well, short now. Now. okay so there's one. Alright, so I've got the batteries in there, I zip-tied them. I also have a switch here, and it's a keyed, it's a computer cut key switch I found. All you gotta do now is turn on this breaker here. Okay, and we'll turn the switch on, full battery, and we'll just give this Okay, so I discovered that there's an electrical problem. All right guys, so I may have found the issue. This, this plug here, it's loose, completely loose, just like falling out. So what I need to do is pinch this. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be tight now, there. Okay, so let's put this back in here. There, push this one back in, and it's nice and tight. Let's try it again. Power's on. Okay, the bike's running. I think we got it. Let's put this thing back together. First ever test run. Switch it on. The kickstand is just held up with a string. seems to be working. This is pretty funny. So, and the battery's still good. Let's get it out of here, take it for a drive on the road. Still got battery power. Thing's really slow, it won't go over 15 kilometers an hour. So that's not bad to get two more of those big 18 amp hour batteries and cram them in the bottom and that'd be a lot better. Oh, 20 km. 